stable at step three. T minus 30 seconds. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go GPS. 20. 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have RD-180 ignition, and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the 11th GPS-2F satellite of the United States Air Force. The Global Positioning System provides worldwide positioning, navigation, and timing service for military and civilian users. of Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data. Mach 1. Vehicle bodyers are controlling down the middle. Booster engine performance continues to be nominal. Track shows the vehicle right down the middle corridor. We have passed max dynamic pressure. Booster has throttled down right on time. And we've begun flying Q Alpha limited steering. Body rates continue to look good. Booster engine performance is good. Closed loop steering has been enabled as well as a roll bias for pointing of telemetry. Booster engine performance continues to look very good. Our CS pyro valve has been fired. Systems now pressurizing the flight level. Signatures look good. Currently accelerating at three Gs. Booster engine continues to look very good. Current altitude is 32 miles, downrange distance 50 miles, current velocity 5,005 miles per hour. Coming up on our next booster throttle segment. And the booster has throttled down, engine response looks good. Body rates continue to look good as we accelerate at 4 Gs. Range track shows the vehicle right down the middle of the corridor. And we've begun flying our uh, 5G throttle segment. Boost phase cooldown is underway. And we've gone to throttle to 4.6 Gs in preparation for BECO. Boost phase chill down is complete. And we have BECO. Engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation. Looks like a clean sip. Box and fuel pre-start. GN2 purge firing and the RCS is underway. 
We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. And we have payload fairing jettison. Looks like a good separation of payload fairing. Centaur closed loop stern is underway. And Centaur Pew has gone to closed loop control. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus five minutes and counting. We've just heard Marty Malinowski report the successful execution of events comprising the early part of today's mission, and all systems continue to operate nominally. The mission is currently in the first of two Centaur engine burns. Our next event, Centaur main engine cutoff, will occur in approximately 12 minutes.